We really like the standard C4 Picasso, mainly because of its good looks, practicality and fuel efficient engines. So if you agree with us and could do with an extra two seats, look no further than the C4 Grand Picasso, which is equally as stylish and boasts that extra third row of seating. The larger dimensions over the standard Picasso mean the already large boot is even bigger. It's long, wide and flat, which means loading heavier items in much easier. Fold the seats down to create a van-like space, perfect for carrying lots of cargo or ferrying the first child off to university. Let's go back a few years though and the children are still quite small. A real coup about this car is how easy that third row is to operate. All you have to do is this. I'll go and try it out. OK, so it's a bit cramped for adults, even me. There's not really any headroom and there's no leg room. But young children should not make a fuss at all, other than to ask if we're nearly there yet, they're hungry, need the toilet. Apart from that, the space is fine. Oh, that's quite a relief. If you're lucky enough to sit in this row, you could be kind and move your seat forwards to give the child behind you a little bit of extra leg room. And you get your own picnic table, which is sturdy enough, even for the hungry eater. And if you're lucky or unlucky, I'm not sure which, to have triplets, you get Isofix in each one of these seats. Focusing on style again, the contemporary design extends to inside where this beautiful dash is a work of art. In fact, so much so, Matt thinks it deserves a place in the Tate Modern. I'm not sure about that, but it is rather swish. The coolest feature has to be the fact that you can personalise the screen with your own picture. For example, your other car, or cars. Tech overall is good because all cars come with digital, DAB radio, climate control and Bluetooth. On the road then, how does it compare with a standard C4 Picasso? Well, your biggest fear could be the extra weight it means it burns more fuel. Actually, it's one of the cheapest seven-seater MPVs to run because it's one of the very few that boasts sub 100 grams per kilometre of CO2 emissions, resulting in free road tax and miles per gallon figures over 70. And if you want a little bit more power, even the blue HDI model returns miles per gallon figures in the high 60s and has slightly higher CO2 emissions at 110 grams per kilometre. More glowing qualities it shares with its slightly smaller counterpart include being very safe. It's kitted out with lots of airbags and safety systems such as lane departure warning and blind spot monitoring enhance its safety credentials further. It also has a very good turning circle, which is perfect for parking. Although, it's still a very large car, so we would recommend going for Park Assist. Then there's the floods of light that come in through all the windows, and you can move this back to create a panoramic windscreen. It almost feels like you're sitting in the control seat for an aeroplane. Comfort and stability is very much the same as the standard C4 Picasso. It's a good cruiser and copes with undulations in the road well. But if you would like something a little bit more fun to drive, then the Ford S-Max may suit you better. Which brings me on to this car's downsides. Although the dash and centre console look really smart, if you would like to quickly adjust the heating, uh, you can't. You have to go through the menu and search for it, which is a bit awkward. In fact, the whole menu is not very intuitive. And thank you Citroen for moving the steering wheel onto the right hand side of the car for us, but it would have been helpful if the fuse box had followed because that glove box is just too small for a family car. Then there's the impractical cup holders. If both the driver and front seat passenger would like a coffee when you stop at the service station, well, you're going to be fighting over who puts their coffee cup in last. Having said that, these niggly little points probably won't put you off buying this car. With its stylish good looks, large boot, 
an extra two seats, not to mention the low running costs, this could be the large MPV for you. If you're still unsure, why not check out the Ford S-Max video here and the Peugeot 5008 video here. And don't forget to subscribe to our Car Buyer channel by clicking here and we'll send you a new video every week.